Okay. Hey everybody, it's Peter again. Um, I wanted to do a quick video. This is in response to a lot of questions that I've gotten recently. Um, I'm out walking my dog and people come up to me and they go, Hey, how, how does your dog look so good? It's like a professional just groomed him right now. And I, there's a super, super easy way. Um, I guess some people call them life hacks or something. This isn't that, really, it's, it's using an old European technique. Now, um, in America, sometimes the government makes, makes sure to protect us from certain things, like, for instance, uh, raw milk cheese. So stuff you can get in, <clears throat> get in Europe, you can't get here. Well, this is the same sort of thing. Um, you cannot buy these in America. They've been deemed dangerous um, for whatever reason they're not. Um, and so I have to give you kind of a, a disclaimer that these are not sold in the USA, they're not legal for sale uh, or tender in the USA, so, um, you know, I have to make that thing, um, I don't, so just, you can't sue me, whatever that thing is called, so just remember that. If you use this technique, now, just, I mean, you're not going to have any problems. So you don't have to worry about it, but um, so let's go ahead and show you how this works. This is this would be called uh, in Europe they would call this a Euro doggy brush, uh, and it's so easy. In Europe it would come made for you, but in this case we have to make it ourselves. So you're going to take the hose on your vacuum. You're going to take a brush, a dog brush. This is a Furminator, I think is what they call them. We got this at Costco a while ago. They work really well, and you're just going to hold it kind of like this. So you can see how it's attached to the hose. And then you just use tape. Now in this case I use the blue painter's tape because I like that it doesn't leave a residue. And you're just going to wrap. You just wrap it around the hose and the brush a few times. Okay. I like to sort of secure it on there so it doesn't go anywhere. And you notice, you notice how firm that is how firm that is. I'm moving it. I'm, I'm applying a lot of pressure and you're not seeing a lot of movement. So quality is there. Now um, I'm going to show you what this looks like. I'm going to, we'll pretend the vacuum's on, but just to give you an idea of kind of how you're doing it, if this was a little dog you'd hold it up. If it was a, a big dog you'd have it on the ground. Um, you're just going to turn your vacuum on and I'm going to leave it off so you can hear what I'm saying. Um, so the vacuum's on, and then you just brush with the hair, right? And that's it. Super easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to get a real dog and show you demonstrate demonstrate for you the process by which this occurs. Okay. So just give me a second here. All right. <clears throat> okay, we're back. Uh, and I've got my dog. This is a, a ten-year-old border collie. Okay, uh, long hair. He's got the undercoat uh, that makes it so hard to groom well, because all that stuff just gets all over everything on your pants and on the floor, and it's really hard to clean up. Not with the Euro doggy comb. Um, amazing technology. So, hold it, Roscoe. Come back. Come back, buddy. Come here. There you go. Good dog. Okay. Now, one of the things that you'll learn if you if you spend time in a professional dog grooming salon is that you always want to pin the dog to make him feel comfortable. So we're going to do that. You just put your leg over him like that. It feels good to the dog. Don't worry, you're, you're not going to choke him out. Um, so we're going to turn the vacuum on. And that's it. It's as easy as that. And when you're vacuuming him, um, all the hair just goes right into the vacuum. So I hope that helps. Um, and let me know if you have any other questions or if there's any other how-to videos you'd like to see because I have a lot of time. <laughs>